Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's buddy. And I don't know what we're getting into. <laughs> and he has no idea what's coming. So, I put up a poll yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> when he saw this poll on Twitter, I'm sure he went, oh God, this is, we're going to have to discuss this. And I'm like, let's discuss it on the podcast. Sure. <laughs> so, just for reference sake, I was asking our our followers, you know, their thoughts on how <laughs> how soon how soon the woman of the relationship, the girl in the relationship should take all cleaning, house care, errand running, self-care, him care, you name it, chores <laughs> off of off of his plate. How soon after starting to date? And the the survey that I put up was six months, one to two years. You know, they only offer four options. Yeah. And then I said, not her house, not her job, because this question is assuming that these two people are still living separately and each maintaining their own household. Yeah. Was that kind of explained? Um, I don't think I even... Because uh, that's so hard, because when people move in, I mean... Well, yeah, when yeah. people move in, that's one thing. But... Um, and then once we're married was the fourth one, which of course makes perfect sense. But my... I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. yeah. So my... And I did some follow-up questions to a couple of them because, you know, they, I got a lot of great answers. Right. Um, but for the most part, people think that those that res have responded, which is over 400 votes so far. It's nuts what these surveys will yeah, do. I love yeah, this, I love doing these surveys. But 60%, easily 60% of the people think that at least within two years she sh of, of dating, she should be doing all chores, all all wifely duties, let's Fascinating. call it. Fascinating. See, I thought the marriage thing was the one that came out by a far lead. No. No. <coughs> no. Um, and, I mean, I am pro-wifely duties. I think one guy put it well, don't, don't do wifely duties or whatever as... To a, a boyfriend, yeah. but um, it's a hard. Time. I just find it fascinating that there's <laughs> so many great responses, and I, I'm sure I'm as, I, I'm as amazed as you are. I'm sure I know which one you did, voted. What, what did I vote? I'm sure you voted six months. That is funny. You know what I voted? One to two years. It's not your responsibility. Oh, you did not. I did. I'm going to check your Twitter. You did <laughs> not. Ahead. You were a liar. Can you even tell? I can if I look on your Twitter but account. But how would you be able to tell what, will it show what I check? Yes. Yeah, you check it. Oh, I did. Which is especially funny. Because, okay, so here's. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Everything you do is completely up to you. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. <laughs> No, but that is, I do think that that is where the catch-22 is. And that's kind of where the question originated was because women do these things and they need to show their value, their wifely value to men early on. So, let me th finish my thought first. Early on, so, because that helps hook him and him realize that she has some domestic abilities and submission in a lot of ways to want to do these things for him. The catch 22 is from a female perspective that she begins by wanting to doing things that she wants to do for him. She wants to cook him dinner. She wants to clean his room. She wants to do his laundry. She wants to run his errands. She wants to do these things that make his life better. The, the catch here is, and what was fascinating to me about the survey is that Pretty soon the men start expecting almost to a demanding level to where they get offended or pissed off if she doesn't pick up the dry cleaning well or if she didn't pay the rent this way. She has a whole other household to run. She's running now two households. So that's where this interest came to me. I find it fascinating that so many people answered the way they did. Now, what do you have to say? I think it may be skewed. You gotta, I think it's skewed too because you're in your 40s. 
and I'm in my 50s, you've been married, and I, I mean, and I was married, I think it's going to be different for somebody who's 23, he's 25 and she's 23. Don't you think that there'd be a slower or but almost But I was the no, same way whenever... But that's you. Right. That's a whole different thing, because not everybody's you. No, no, no. You know what I mean? I mean, there's... Because the first... You you have to roll this all the way back. This isn't like it was like a slow process. Within what a week or two after we had met, uh-huh. and I went and did the five k. <laughs> yeah. And while I was gone, I you rearranged took, your artwork. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't take it all down. No. I put no. it right back where it was. <laughs> I said okay. But that is a very early. <laughs> And it's a lot because it's been on my floor. All of his artwork for years was in lines Fine. on the floor, I'm and he has a wonderful art collection, yeah. and it needed to be displayed. Yeah. And I am an artist, and it was hard for me to look at all of this beautiful artwork on the ground. But I think this is a tough question, I and mean, it's it's easier for us, to, especially for me. I mean, I guess. I mean, because I've dated girls that did nothing. Yeah, you know what You've I mean. You've dated girls who you left the house. Wrecked. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. You're like, there's a party. You're like, well, there was. A, she's a fucking shit it was show. Nuts. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and and again, you know, and I lived with a girl when I was younger that was horrible. I mean, just you know, and I came from a very domestic. <laughs> yeah. My mom took absolutely. care of everything. But and again, and a caveat too is I'm ridiculously spoiled. Like a lot of the things I have. And admin. Yeah. Doing, picking up dry clean. This is, you know, you do this stuff now, but a lot of the stuff, I had some like, girl that came over to clean the house. Yeah. Um, admins run my, you know, do my billing. They do my, they pick up my stuff. They do run errands. Yeah. One of them likes to run errands. You know, I mean, she that's what she enjoys. She can Yeah. She might have <laughs> She's probably going to have to. And that's fine. I mean, but a lot of these are caveats. I mean, I think it would be much harder question for a 23-year-old girl that's been dating a guy who's 25 or 26 for a year, you know, should she? Because they don't have the skills. Yeah, that's true. We're, I have, We're not talking about, like, where you, you know, grew up fast. You know, right. you know, you were already, you had had two kids and a, and a husband at that age. Yeah. You know, that's a oh, completely yeah. different thing. Yeah. I mean, he had, you know, invested uh, Not right in that away. order. I was married and then yeah, had yeah. children. Correction. I always like to it's a big make deal. that clear. Yeah, but I think it's different, especially, like, with people... You know, if they're just dating, I mean, because they'll just just casually date. Yeah. You know, she may never go to his apartment. Yeah, no, that's you know, true. You know, it just this survey was very interesting yeah. to me. Well, I'm glad because I wasn't going to retweet it or you know, <laughs> I thought I'd vote. And you know, that's a real deal. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, what was your point? <laughs> My point was I wanted what to talk you, about now. Me. Now, at the end of the day, as a woman, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's say. Women, at least thirty and older, where would, when should they start that? If, if they ever do. Well, as a woman, and like you've pointed out, I'm also a mother. I mean, yeah. so as a woman who is maintaining her own home as well with her own children in it, it it does get a little bit tricky sometimes. To you just had me pull everything out of this closet. Do not look around this room. <laughs> You little smart ass. <laughs> it does get a little bit tricky at times to maintain two yeah. households. Yes. You know, and run. And work three jobs. Yeah. <laughs> it's a detail. But but I do, I mean, I definitely fall in the one to two year category, I would say. Normally. I think that, yeah, I think that there are certain things that unless you're married and or living together exclusively like you are actually sharing a home to completely um that it is more of a not not her house not her problem because there are some things that to me are like men will for literally just forget how to do basic things that well that i get it because you know you have another home and you have children you know <laughs> And, and I want this thing to be deep cleaned. I was just thinking about getting you a carpet cleaner the other day because 
There's some spots. I there. have deep cleaned your carpets before. <laughs> and, and some of these walls could use some repainting. <laughs> That's true. The exact same color that they are now. <laughs> and how else am I going to be on Twitter? And <laughs> 18 hours a day? If I'm doing all this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're such a rotten thing. <laughs> anyway, I found, I truly found the survey interesting. Yeah. I found it, I found it interesting. I found it fascinating. Fascinating. I find it especially fascinating to know that that's what you're claiming to have voted for. I did. That is bullshit. <laughs> that I've is, told you that, that for any time you start bitching, I go, you don't have to do that. <laughs> oh. And then, then you know, like keep doing it, and you get mad. Or, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to help, and I, at least I'm congruent. You're like he doesn't mean that. He, he voted for that. He doesn't mean it. He does not. He that does is not so mean bad. That. It's a bullshit. <laughs> oh, thank you for playing along with my. Uh, You're welcome. I had discussion. no idea where this was going. <laughs> and if you spent your time, reach out to us, and we'll pay you for your. For wasting your time with this horrible podcast. <laughs> I hope I hope you gain something. We're from always it. entertaining, if nothing else. <laughs> Have a great night.